poison gas, one of the most frightening weapons in World War I. Poison gas also led to World War I being known as the chemist's war. Instead of just using traditional artillery, such as guns, cannons, and the newly developed tank, the Germans introduced a new tactic, poison gas. In 1914, the German army had approached the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute with requests to make chemical weapons. Fritz Haber, a chemist, had experimented with chlorine gas to use in trench warfare. The most prominent gases used were chlorine gas, xylobromide, bromide, which is tear gas, and mustard gas. Tear gas, though it only caused temporary pain and blindness, was used to aggravate and provoke soldiers. The use of tear gas did not kill soldiers, nor was it intended to do so. It incapacitated the soldiers, therefore making it so they could not defend themselves. The French were the first to use this substance in August of 1914 against the Germans. This non-lethal weapon opened the door for more dangerous substances and gases to be used. Chlorine gas was not introduced in the war until April 22, 1915. The Germans used this at Ypres, and this was especially hazardous because gas masks were still not distributed in large quantities. It was dangerous because chlorine is a heavy gas and would lay down to the ground, filling the trenches that the men were in. At this battle, when the Germans gassed the French, the French had assumed that they were in for an armed attack. The French had assumed this because they would see a cloud of what appeared to be smoke. They believed that the Germans were hiding behind the smoke and were about to ambush them. But soon they began to realize it was not the case because they soon felt a pain in their chest from the burning chemicals. Chlorine gas gave you a feeling of suffocation and irritation to the eyes and throats of the soldiers. Mustard gas was first used by the Germans in 1917. It was one of the most deadly of all gases. Sometimes it would take three weeks to recover, sometimes four months, and sometimes even death. It would penetrate a soldier's mask, rendering them useless against this chemical. Mustard gas would not always even be detected straight away. It was hard to smell the odor, so you would soon become accustomed to it. Within a day, you would begin to see it take its toll. And if you underwent a direct attack and inhaled a lot, effects would take place sooner. Red spots would appear on the surface of your skin, and they would soon turn to blisters. Your throat and nose would swell, closing off your airways. Mustard gas, by far, was one of the most terrifying weapons. The use of gas left everyone fighting for a secure way to protect themselves against this new and scary tactic. At the beginning of the war, gas masks were not standard issue and were very crude. As the war went on, better gas masks were developed and more were produced. Gas masks were not invented for World War I. They were around for centuries, but varying in the level of protection. The gas mask filtered out most of the harmful pollutants in the air. Mustard gas was one of these gases that the, that the mask offered no protection. Many animals were used during World War I such as dogs, horses, mules, and pigeons. 
The majority of transportation during World War I was by horse, so these animals would require a gas mask just as much as humans would. Dogs and mules were also equipped with these instruments of protection. The weather influenced gas attacks, and occasionally the wind would blow back an army's own gas upon themselves. Eventually, all sides began to use gas shells. This gave them more control over where the gas would travel. Ça se traduisait par la destruction des poumons. Et beaucoup de Français, après la guerre, où on croyait qu'ils n'avaient rien souffert, ils ont traîné avec les poumons abîmés. My grandfather is a very moral man. He really was. And I think uh, from his, my impression of his statements were that it was wrong for the Germans to have ever used gas. It was a terrible thing to do. But once the Pandora's box was opened, you had to deal with it. Adolf Hitler was infamously known for World War II and the persecution of the Jews. But he was also a corporal during World War I for the Germans. He was gassed on October 14, 1918. Hitler was temporarily blinded from this gas attack. After the war, the most common side effects were respiratory disease and failing eyesight. Often during the war, soldiers would temporarily lose eyesight, but it would come back. Skin disease and leukemia were also common infections from the war. Around 90,000 soldiers and civilians were killed from gas attacks. The use of poison gas was a war crime and violated treaties that were in place. Poison gas was often deadly and it caused much destruction. It was wrong for the Germans to have ever used gas it was a terrible thing to do.